Hey, good morning. Welcome to Summer Math 37. Summer Math 37. Today we are looking at the symmetries of a dodecahedron. Dodecahedron, and this took a while, didn't it? Yes. This is a tricky problem, and, but um, we worked through it. Yeah. How many different kinds of symmetries did we find? Well, well the do nothing one. The do nothing one. That's one. We found the rotations. the rotations. The rotations. That's two. Vertices flips. Vertice, flipping around the vertices like this. I'm gonna make sure we stay in camera here. Flipping around the vertices like this. Those okay. Are three. That was the third one. And then and I found flipping around the edges. Flipping around the edges. Okay. So now we're gonna do our best to count these. Okay. This this was the hard part for us counting these. Yeah. Okay. So the do nothing one. I'll I'll go ahead and count that one. One. Yeah. <laughs> Phew! Got that one out of the way. All right, now let's count the rotations. Rotations, there's four new rotations. One, two, four, and then we are back to where we started. Okay, so for each way the dodecahedron is sitting on the table, there are rotations. There's, in fact, four of them that produce a rotation of where we started and the fifth one gets you back to where you were because we have pentagons. Yeah. Right? How do we figure out how many of those there are total no matter how the like the dodecahedron is sitting on well, the table? Well, you can pair the tops and bottoms. You you pair these and there's six different pairs. Okay. Because because the the dodecahedron has 12 12 faces. Very good. There's 12 faces. And then there's six then pairs. Six pairs times Four, because each pair produces four new rotations, okay. and then that's twenty-four rotations. Okay, so then we've got one do nothing. Twenty-four. Twenty-four rotations. It's twenty-five. So we're up to twenty-five different symmetries right now. Now we're going to talk about the opposite rotating around the opposite um, vertices. Okay. Yeah. I probably have to scoot a little closer to the camera. This might be tricky to do. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to keep my fingers in the same spot. And I'm going to lift... Oh, you know what? Let's plug in a point. Actually, let's put it facing towards the middle so that we know when the same face gets back up to the top, okay? All right. All right? So, who wants to do some rotating here? All right. Okay. So... This one doesn't count because it's resting on an edge. Okay. This one, that's a new one. That's, okay, that's a new rotation that we found, so that's one. Doesn't count. Nope, oh, still on an edge. And then... There's two. Two. That's a new one, right? Yep. Okay. And then, doesn't count. And then, then we're, we're back. back. Then we're back to where we started. So for each opposite pair of vertices, we found two rotational symmetries. Cool. Okay? So now we just have to figure out how many pairs of opposite vertices there are. Well, how many ver how many balls are there? Yeah, how many balls are there total? There's five on the bottom. Five on the top. Okay. And we have this zigzag in the middle. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Okay, so how many is that? That's twenty. Twenty. All right, so we pair them in groups of two. So how many opposite pairs do we have? We have ten. 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 And each pair gives us two new ones. Okay, so how many new symmetries did we just find? Twenty. Twenty. So now we have one do nothing, 24 rotations, then and now the 20, corner flip. 20 flips on the vertices. So we're up to 40, 45. 45. And now we got to flip the edges. Okay, so... Here we go. Then doesn't count. Yes. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Go back. That is a new one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now that one is this. Is this a symmetry? Well, I w I was looking at this face now. Now I'm staring at this. Ah. So it's. This one, I don't think this one's a symmetry. This is different. We started, we've got to go, let's go back to where we, well, actually, let's start over. This is tricky, so we'll put our little marker on the top again, okay? Yeah. So when I put my hands on these opposite ver um, edges, see they're pointing, I don't know how easy it is to see in the camera, but they're pointing up here, 
yeah. right? So let's rotate it around. Let's do some rotations. Doesn't work. And here's one. Now here's one, and they're pointing up again, right? Yeah, but yeah. now I'm looking at this face. Okay, before. were you looking at a face before? No, I was looking at the strut. So, yeah, this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they're pointing up this way. Yeah, I got it. I got it wrong. You were good, good, good noticing by you. Here, they're, these are pointing the, the opposite way now. Okay, yeah. so this is not the same. No. All right, keep going. Now we're at the bottom. Now we're at the bottom. Wait, 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 wait. Look at this. This, yeah. this is a symmetry because I'm now staring at a strut. Yeah, this is a symmetry. So look, we just turned the whole cube over here, or the dodecahedron. Yeah. Okay. Then. Does it count? This, and this is not a symmetry, this is the one nope. that's not. Right, it's pointing the wrong way. And, and now we're back. Now we're back to the top. So for each opposite edge, there was only one new one, even though some other ones looked like they might be similar, but, but they weren't. They weren't. There was only one new one. So for each opposite pair of edges, there's one new one. So how many opposite edges are there? Well, first we have to count the edges. We have five uh, on top, five, five on bottom, and, and then these five. And then these five. That's and makes that, for 20. All right. Then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 30 edges. 30 edges. Then There's another clever way to count the edges, which would also work for the vertices, by the way. You count the... Yeah, you count the... Count the sides, which is 12, sides. times 5 on each edge, so that's 60 edges. And then you overcount. But you overcount it because each edge is in two pentagons. So there is 30 edges. Then, you pair them in groups of... Two. two and two. Fi that's 15. 15. And then so each one gives you one new one. Each one, each pair gives us a new symmetry. So we're up to 15 new ones. Now we got to remember where we were. I think we are at 45. We were at 45. Yeah. So this makes 60. Now we're at 60. How about that? There's 60 symmetries of, an, of a Do dodecahedron. Wow. Whoa, and we found all of them. Cool. High five, guys. That was a lot of work. Good job.